Hello ladles and jelly spoons, uh, Aegis, and this is a two for one special on NWAGs, yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to include the whole game, just because I thought it would be better if I included two games, but with uh, less, um, but with the whole gameplay cut out so that you just saw the nuke streak, like, except from this part because I wanted to show the, the fact that I kept getting killed by G18s and I don't know what it is about those guns, but they are definitely overpowered, and they piss me off. But I, I was just trying to um, rush, and I uh, quite often call people cunts when they are being dicks. And I get killed again by a different guy with G18s again, and it really annoyed me. But, yeah, I want to talk about a couple of things other that are happening. Like, um, I just got a new monitor today, which is 19-inch widescreen, and... I don't know what it is about it, but it's really hurting my eyes. I I don't know, the aspect ratio is uh, widescreen, so it might be that, but I'm not sure. It could be the hertz, it could be uh, anything of a bunch of things like the uh, screen resolution. Maybe I'm just not used to it, maybe if I wait for a while I'd get used to it, but for now it gives me headaches. But this is the first nuke streak, and yeah, it's the MP5K, and I... I don't know, about a month ago I decided I'd get some nukes with the MP5K, put it on for a couple of games and got a couple of nukes, so um, these two games will be the consecutive games, and unfortunately this first one I don't actually get to call it in, so I pretty much had to include the second one. I think I think they're consecutive anyway, I don't know, it was quite a while ago that I got them, but I don't know if you'd count this one as a nuke or not because uh, I didn't call it in. But I count it as a nuke anyway, in my nuke count, which is so sad to have, I know. <laughs> but it's so easy to, to count, because I never go for them anymore. It's just, it's just um, you put it in the folder as the raw file and then render it out later. It's easy to do. So I went out looking for the kills this time, because I knew that the round was going to end very soon. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I got the nuke, and I didn't get to call it in, which is kind of a shame, but... The next one makes up for it because that was kind of a nice rushy nuke followed by a bit of camping because I knew I was getting close to the uh, AC-130 and I was trying to defend the B flag as well as you'll see later. Oh, um, before I forget, thanks for 600 subscribers. I've been doing YouTube for quite a while and 600 is a milestone. You can say every 100 is a milestone until you reach like um, a couple of thousand I'd say. so. 600 is a milestone, another nuke. <coughs> um, well, a nuke, anyway. So here's the second one. I, I've just, in this gameplay, I just got my Harriers and one off my AC-130 for the uh, Harry got shot down and I had to go out and get another kill. And I got, like, laser rifled across the map with the M16, so I was kind of pissed. But I decided to go rush B because they were all camping there like pricks. And I get lucky and build up like a, a six kill streak and then um, manage to get the Harriers which is basically the nuke, yeah. The NWAG series is basically um, uh, nuke with all guns, it's just basically kill streaks isn't it? You just need a six kill a seven kill streak to get your nuke most of the time unless they're shooting down air support like they were in this game but once you've got uh, the AC-130, they're pretty much supp suppressed because the AC-130 has a lot of flares and you can see where they're shooting you down from. And a lot of people who were shooting the airport down weren't using cold-blooded, which is a bit of a dick move, to be honest, because you're just going to get owned by the AC-130. So there's my Harriers. I was going to talk about a couple of other things, but I've completely forgotten now that I'm actually doing a commentary. I'm used to just sort of speaking as a play, doing loads of live commentaries because of the Road to Commander. Uh, but one or two things I do want to clear up are, if you've got something to, to tell me or whatever, it would be much better, you'd get a reply much more of the time if you were to message me uh, through YouTube. You might notice that sometimes I don't reply to messages that are sent to me on Steam. And that's because if I did, I've said this so many times, but it seems that no one... Uh, on my Steam friends list actually watched my videos which is pretty annoying because I always explain what I'm on about and why I don't reply to my messages 
usually. And I'm not being a dick or anything, but if I replied to every single one, I, I just wouldn't be able to... I just wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't be able to play a game, which is sort of the main reason why I'm uh, playing games, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, as I get these final kills, and calling my nuke, the gameplay is appearing to be wrapping up. But I needed to call in... I needed to show you the part where I call in the nuke, because... I jump out of this place and kind of get a nice little hit marker, as you'll see in a sec. Well, I wouldn't call it any hit markers nice, but yeah, <laughs> just as the nuke gets called in, and I don't kill him with my revolver either, which kind of sucks, but um, that's game, boys and girls, as someone says, I don't know exactly who. Um, thank you guys for watching, Spinagus, and I'm out. Peace.